welcome to Twin Forge. Now, last time we sort of killed quite a few things, big things, amazing things. But yeah, we got to, uh, well, go up here and all the way down there. I'm looking forward to this one. <sighs> but, really, it's going to be pretty awesome going down there. But I think, hmm. I probably want to go up here, but that's like, mm, I cut up there, but I don't know, I don't know, I don't fucking know, might as well do that, and I'm gonna empty out my bags, so hold your houses, but yeah, that was pretty awesome, man. Um, last time, I was trying to think of what to say, but yeah, it was, did some good things, amazing things, spectacular things and now we're gonna do even more amazing things the ships turn out quite well the ram isn't what I would like sadly like it's it's fine I guess but that drill man that drill though needs to have a drill on it but yeah get the if we get a drill on there I don't know if we don't like if it's a block Gotta play help. Oh man. But yeah, I got a new game called Ironclad Tactics. Pretty fun so far. Pretty fun. It's a card game. But it's like Civil War with Ironclads, except for the Ironclads are like robots. And I got the Deluxe Edition and I have beaten the main campaign in such a short time because I went ham on that and I nearly 100% it because you can't 100% it because you need to play on New Game Plus which is even harder but like the last mission, the boss, I did not do you had to kill two entrenched robots which have armor it's really annoying and they're impossible to kill but you have to kill them both at the same time at the exact same time which it was already hard enough like that mission was balls to the wall like I managed to like it tried it took me a couple of tries because the thing I like about the game is that how it it does not like you can go with one deck like you make one deck and now you can go through the entire game without having to change it every mission you've got to change it you cannot just stick with it you will lose on that one because this one let's say one mission they have a crap ton of infantry and you need to capture well, let's say you need to make a what the hell never been here before but you need to like capture mortars or something and you need to uh, capture them all to win well now you're gonna, you're gonna need to suit up for that so you're gonna want iron clutches so you can trample the, en the enemy infantry and have a few infantry to capture it like the, or to hold them excuse me sir talk here. And, like the next mission could be like you need to instead of capturing mortars you need to have them complete fight out there are these these challenges with more cards and different cards you can't buy any of the cards that with real money so you have to work for it and holy crap the cards will usually enforce you to play again with a different deck like I'm gonna say rise of Dimitri or something, however you say the fucker's name, but that's a DLC campaign, and then that one, oh my god, is it difficult as hell. I died so much on the first mission, god damn, this place is dangerous, I can't like fucking look away for a goddamn second, but oh man, I lost so much on the first mission, second mission, I lost so much, I'm like, this shit's difficult. <laughs> And then, like, ugh, just the side quest, it's like, use a Dimitri deck only. I'm like, okay, that's, uh, mm. Okay, because he has no infantry. None. Besides him, which you can only have one of him. And he has no weapon, he just repairs. 
and holy shit are the fucking natives annoying as hell. And then you have to face them, okay. You gotta like face them again this time they have iron fight as well. I'm like, are you shit natives? And that's on that's the mission I'm on right now. And it's uh wait, did I I beat it. But I have to replay it. Do I? Yeah, I do. You have to replay it because I have to replay where I have to hold both mortars at the same time. Which is impossible to do with the Dimitri deck, which one of the challenges is to play, to beat it with the Dimitri deck. So that is automatically, no matter how you do it, you will need... There's a lot of wells up here, but I guess it makes sense. But you will need to play it over and over, which increases the, I guess, replay lastability of the game. But... Oh, just some, oh man, some points are just really annoying. Like they, oh, mm, I don't, I don't know, I don't have words for it, it just gets annoying at some points. But yeah, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna do New Game Plus though, like, the original one was already pretty difficult for me. Like some of them were really, were pretty easy, but required some, because you can't pause it. It's not like your traditional, you know, you just bada boom, bada boom, you're done. Like, you can't sit there and it's not like turn, oh, it's sort of turn based. Okay, gosh, you need to calm your titties. But it's in a way that, like, god damn. It will do it in a way that I'm completely lost that train. I completely lost my train of thought. Because all oh, Jesus Christ ran Okay, okay, you are a weird looking motherfucker. He's a weird ass looking This is just going amazing. Okay. So if yeah, you can only have you have to capture both of them. But I, I never mind. I completely forgot what I was talking about because that fucking bitch came out, rain fire. I, I lost. Sorry, I lost my complete thought process there. I was going on, 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 but I lost it. Oh yeah, new game plus. You, I think this is how it was. New game plus. You have to redo it, and it's more difficult. And I found it so difficult, and so it's not going to be fun at all. At all. It's going to suck. And plus, it's just like, you, I think you get the same cards, but you get more of them, because that's usually how the challenges go. You get the same card, well, you get the same card, but you can use it more because you got another card. So it's like, I mean, like, it's sort of worth it, but, like, usually you only need, like, three of a card. Four gets, is a little insane. Like, give me a little imbalance when you have four, because you don't shoot. Oh, yeah, I was talking about the turn based thing. It's not, it's sort of turn based because it, there's a timer, but you can't pause it, and you have to do things which can screw your day up. I wish I could pause it. Because sometimes I will, I pretty much lose because I do the wrong thing. Because I'm like, okay, you, I need you to maneuver down and fuck that bitch, Just trample that bitch, because he's gonna throw dynamite in my place, like at the end of my lane. But the, it's already been act, so then he moves up, and then and then he jumps down, but now he's already ahead of the guy, and so it's just, it's bad. This looks really pretty. What do I have if I keep going up? I wonder what's this point. What does that look like? I might have to explore there. Really pretty. Oh fuck, never mind. Yeah. That's the game. I mean, I'd, I'd recommend it. It's like seven, seven dollars fifty cents right now. So I grabbed it and then played it. I can't imagine how difficult it's going to be to play the fucking blood and iron one. 
and and new game plus. Holy shit! I don't know if I want to do that. This is just because it's not the fun hard; it's the annoying hard. Place of the Dark Souls, sort of fun. Damn, you're like a weird bitch. It's not the Dark Souls fun when you're like, you, like you get murdered and you're like, oh, I, I gotta do, it, I gotta do. It. Like I don't get mad in that game surprisingly. Like I don't get mad in pretty much any game. Dark Souls, uh, Ornstein and Smo. Killed them on my third try. The whole problem was getting to them was my issue. Because those guards would fuck me up. I was a heavy armor guy, so they it was it was bad. They killed me. I was wearing the forest armor, I can't quite remember what it is, but it's like stone knight green armor you get from the forest with the shield and sword. Pretty nice kind of one, I recommend it. But yeah, they would. I had to switch. Like once I killed, I think when I ki once I killed Ornstein, Smo was left, and he would of course become insanely difficult. But I would have to switch to medium arms, so I was wearing like silver knight armor and like ninja garbs or whatever it's called. And I was like, oh fuck, man, 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 and I had to do that while fighting him, and then killed him. I was very satisfied. But yeah, I. Bosses usually don't give me too much trouble. If they kill me repeatedly, I'm just like, meh. And do it again. Like, somebody will, like, flip out, throw their control, and they're like, oh, fuck this kid. Oh. I'm just like, mm. Shit happened. It, 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 it annoys me when they are. Why did I look away? Why? Why? I want to kind of say like fuck the side quest because this is scary. This is bullshit. Fuck up. Fuck up. Fuck up. I'm for that one. Wait. Never mind. If I'm right there. We're going back there because I'm here right here. <sighs> Bullshit. Like, how the fuck am I supposed to fight if it's floating in mid fucking air? Like, how the fuck am I supposed to combat that? It's like, oh yeah, you're because you, you can't shoot while you're grappling hook. Because you're using your grappling hook, you can't shoot, use your drill, nothing. This is gonna be annoying as hell. What's called the stillness? Yeah, it ain't fucking still, it's fucking moving around because you're dropping your goddamn death. <sighs> this game has its moments and then it loses it. I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. Oh, really? Really? Like, really? <sighs> this, today's not my day. I'm sick and bitches be attacking me. Shut up, Will. <sighs> thing that gets me about this game is just a traveling. It's not. It's not eventful. Like, look at this. Just... Yay. It's just annoyance, actually, because if I bump into something, guess what? You gotta fix that. Yay. 
Oh, by the way, you got killed. Make your way over again, just so you can die instantly again. Yeah. 